Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 25 tips and tricks video. Today we're going to cover the topic, does the Macdon give you greater yield if you mow grass? Recently I did a video where we covered grass and hay, and I didn't use the Macdon in that particular video. The reason for that is, well, because the Macdon pack is not base game. The Macdon is a paid DLC, and as such, they do not get included in my normal tips and tricks videos because they're all about how do you do things with base game machinery using base game functionality. But today we are going to divert a little bit and compare the Macdon versus, well, the big boy, the Crone of Big M. Why not? Well, because I want to, honestly. And I already had it because, well, we are here right after recording the grass video. So most of the stuff is already staged and set up. What I've done is we have grass here on field 41. And field 41 has been selected because one, it is a perfect rectangle. And two, the farmland is basically the exact same size as the field itself. What we are going to do is we are going to mow this grass with our big M. And then we're going to collect it with our forage wagon over there. And we are going to calculate out how much grass we collected off this field. I'm going to do my best to only mow the actual field portion of the grass, which would be the grass to our left in this shot, versus the map grass, which is the grass to our right. Once we have done that, I will write down my numbers, and then we will reset the field and come back and, well, mow it with the Macdon and repeat the procedure by collecting the grass with the forage wagon and seeing if we get more, less, or about the same. What do you all think is going to happen? Go ahead and put your comments down in the comments below. And we'll see if, uh, if you're right, if I'm right, if anybody's right. I personally don't think it's going to have an impact on overall yield. I feel that that is reserved for the swathing of the actual crops themselves. But we'll just have to wait and see. And for this purpose, we're going to windrow, because why not? And basically, I'm going to say, if we are within 5% of the yield between the Macdon and the Big M, that we are basically at the same yield level. We're going to say 5% is going to be our margin of error. So let me just get on with this and... Uh, well, I'll come back and report my findings once we are done collecting the grass off of our big M mowing. And then we will do the same thing with our Macdon. All right, part one is done. We have mowed the field with the big M and collected all the grass off the field. Again, we did our very best to try to only get the actual field grass, not the map grass. And what do we end up with? One, two full Pottinger Faro forage wagons. They hold 26,000 liters a piece. And third one, very, very, very nearly full. Uh, it is at 25,444 liters. What does that come out to? Comes out to a total of 77,444 liters for field 41 grass mode with the big M. So let's reset this and uh, well, we'll get to mowing with the Macdon way off in the distance there and uh, see what we end up with. Do we end up with nearly three full Pottinger Faro Forage Wagons or do we have more or do we have less? And now we Macdon. So again, we're going to do our best to try to only get the field grass. We're going to do probably two headlands on either end just to make it easier. 
And again, we will collect the grass with the forage wagon and uh, see where we end up in the end. If you haven't already, put your predictions down in the comments below. Will we get more or less or about the same with the Macdon? And again, I'm going to use a plus or minus 5% to be our overall margin of error. And the results are in, and I have to say, I'm not overly surprised. So, we have, once again, three Pottinger Faro forage wagons, and this is the grass collected from using the Macdon, again, on Field 41. Two of these are full at 26,000 liters each, and the last one is full at basically just five liters short of being full, so... 25,995. What does that leave us? Well, that leaves us with 77,995 liters for the Macdon and 77,444 liters for the Big M. What does that come out to as far as margin of error? Less than 1%. Less than 1% difference between the Big M's three forage wagons and the Macdon's three forage wagons. So overall, does the Macdon increase your yield with respect to grass? No, it does not. Not in any meaningful way, I should say. And, you know, given the way that I mowed this by hand, well, there are a little bit of areas here where I accidentally grabbed a little bit of map grass here, a little bit of map grass there. So it's not really that big of a surprise as to having a slight differential between the two. Now, before we close out the video, you may be wondering, well, how did you prepare the field? How do you know the field was prepared the exact same way for each test? Well, that's where the dev console comes into play because we just run a command and we say we want to set the field state and we say we want grass. We want it to set it to harvest ready. And we want the spray level to be two. We want the lime level, we want plow level, and we want roller level of one. And we hit apply. And we have our yield bonus set to plus 95%. And we basically mow the grass. When the grass is cut, we come back here, we run the exact same command, and we get our field back to the exact same state it was in when we started. So that was the methodology for preparing the field. And again, we mowed the grass with the Big M, mowed the grass with the Macdon, and we basically got the same results within one percentage point. Was your prediction accurate? Let me know down in the comments below. No editing, no editing of your comments. If you commented earlier in the video that we would get a 25% plus yield because some creator did some video and he showed a 25% plus yield when using the Macdon, well, you can't edit that out. You need to leave a second comment going, Oh, I guess, I'm sorry, that wasn't quite right for grass. I guess that is only for another crop. At any rate, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. Now, if you are watching this fairly soon after its release, we are going to be making our way into the various crops, all 25. So this is going to be quite a long video series in order to cover each and every crop that is available in Farm Sim 25. But we're going to do it right here on Field 41. We're going to walk through everything you need to know for every crop that is in the base game. And until next time, happy farming.